One of the most common myths that is floating around the universe that I hear all the time is that testosterone replacement therapy causes heart attacks. And while there is a lot of confusion around this topic, there really isn't a debate as long as we're talking about bioidentical testosterone and not synthetic testosterone. That is the first distinguishing variable that we have to lay out. I, I'm not ha I don't have any discussion about anabolic steroids. All bets are off. They're terrible. Don't do them. What I'm talking about is the exact same molecule that is made in a man's testes, replacing that. Under the microscope, they look exactly the same. This is bioidentical testosterone. The notion that testosterone therapy causes heart attacks in men is really rooted in a fundamental misunderstanding about physiology. Heart attacks are multifactorial. In other words, a lot of things cause heart attacks. The most common cause of a heart attack, far and away, is something we call atherosclerosis. This is the development of a plaque in large part due to cholesterol being deposited in the arteries that feed the heart, then becoming so big and then becoming unstable, and then they break off and go downstream, block blood flow, tissue downstream dies. This atherosclerosis process, when it happens in the heart, we call that a heart attack. Matter of fact, when it happens in your neck veins and goes to your brain, we call that a stroke. Uh, it can happen at really any level of any organ. Atherosclerosis shows up anywhere you have an artery and you can build these plaques up, you can break off and you can lose blood flow to a toe and you can lose a toe, you get the point. Back to atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is far and away the number one reason people have heart attacks. Cer certainly you could overdose on cocaine, you can do some things to create a heart attack without atherosclerosis. But the reason people associate testosterone therapy with heart attack is because they misinterpret the formation of blood clots with the breaking off of a plaque. These are totally different physiologies, totally different science. And without boring you with all of the biochemistry, when you look through the last 50 years, 50 years, American and European studies, there has never been one study, not one, to implicate bioidentical testosterone therapy to either be causative or correlative of a heart attack. Every piece of misinformation and confusion that we have around heart attacks and testosterone therapy has been extrapolated from studies done on synthetic counterparts. So that if a synthetic variant of testosterone causes a heart attack, which they do and can, well documented, they're unsafe, don't do them. By default, we say all testosterone is bad. That's horrible logic. So while synthetic testosterone is very dangerous and can cause heart attacks, it is not the same thing as bioidentical testosterone. Actually, there have been many, 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 many studies that have come forth, even as recent as 2016, 2017, very large, very well-respected studies that are very clear that say there is no association between heart attack risk and bioidentical testosterone therapy. I hope this helps clear the air for you.